every good girl needs a little love. Every black boy needs a little love. If you put it down, I'ma pick it up, up, up. Can't you see? It's just me and you. Panoramic view, that's my point of view. My name is Ebony, if you are new here. So today I'm taking Nile to the doctor's. He has a, okay, come on people. He has a doctor's appointment this morning. It's just like a little checkup. I need to go grocery shopping today. I also wanna hit up Sephora. Because the Sephora day, the Sephora sale, spring sale is going on. I don't know if I want to go in my Sephora and actually like browse around and look and whatnot, or just order half of my, or just order like half of my cart online and then order the other half in person. I don't know what I want to do, but this this is pretty much like me splurging like this is like my birthday gift to myself my birthday is next week so yeah there's been some things that i wanted to get on sephora for a minute and like now is the time to get these items while the sale is going on i will i truly really splurge twice a year at sephora and that's when they have you know the sales going on like the spring sales and then the spring sale and then it's like a fall sale that they have twice a year and that's the only time like that's the only time you can see splurges in Sephora other than that I'm getting like knick-knack beauty stuff that I need to replenish on you know throughout the year but y'all beauty makeup fragrances all this stuff like hair products that stuff is expensive it like literally adds up and I'm just like shoot no wonder it is what a trillion dollar is a trillion dollar business it's bananas but yeah I'm just gonna stop pretty much all my rambling because the clinic is like we go to the the base clinic and it's not that far from our house y'all when I tell you I am so irritated <laughs> we literally just left the doctor we now's appointment was at 8 50 y'all 8 50 tell me why it's 10 30 now 10 31 I am so irritated dang on appointment it was they were it was like I don't know I'm just I'm just irritated it shouldn't have taken that long they were like oh he's behind and blah 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 behind i just don't understand why well, how you could be so behind at 8 50 in the morning to the point where now it's 10 30 that you're seeing us and i tell y'all i'm i'm highly highly irritated because now it just puts me back like my whole day pretty much I don't even want to go grocery shopping right now. I'll probably just go grocery shopping tomorrow. Because I had planned on getting up out of there by like 9 something. Not no 10 30. Beyond. Beyond irritating. Baby, 
All right, y'all, so I went to Publix, Sam's, and Wegmans. So from Sam's, I picked up some chips for the boys, some more water. We needed some more trash bags. Got the boys some applesauce. Um, got me some uh, soft oat bars. And I got me some granola minis to like snack on. Got some Parmesan cheese. Got some naan bread, some roasted garlic tomato sauce. Got some uh, simply made, some simply orange juice. Picked up two of the caramel creamers, the natural bliss. Got some broccoli, got some rotisserie chicken, and got the boys their um, applesauce. Got them some yogurt. I always get the strawberry because Micah and now don't really like the make sure like one has vanilla and then the other has like cotton candy they don't like it they just like the strawberry <laughs> picked up some um i think it's called okio's milk i mean okio's um yogurt they have 20 grams of protein in it i absolutely love it um i got some turkey bacon got some built bars these are pretty good got some chocolate milk and I got some oat milk, got some uh, cucumbers, um, avocados, pineapples, and golden beets. So yeah, that's pretty much like the gist that I got. Oh, and I got some, get some more laundry detergent, uh, Lysol sanitizer, and some uh, paper towels. That's pretty much everything that I got from Publix, Wegmans, and Sam's. Ooh, keep it coming, babe. I don't mind another round. Drinking from your bottle, babe. Calling it wasted love, wasted love. I can get enough for my baby. I'ma gonna be wasted love, wasted love. I'm spending liquor on the carpet, on the couch. All right, you guys. So now i am downstairs in my candle studio i yeah it's looking a hot dig the dog mess <laughs> down here so i need to clean up my candle studio i definitely need some cleaning motivation so i'm about to put on my best friend ryan michelle to give me some you know cleaning motivation because uh, <sighs> It needs to be cleaned out here. Everything needs to be cleaned out here. Like, I need to organize my shelves. Um, as you guys know, I, like, I've been working out, like, crazy. So, I need to push the bike back over there somewhat. Kind of, like, organize that space. <sighs> we have a refrigerator right there that needs to be just, it needs to be gone. I've had it for such a long time. I had it when I was um, in Ohio. You guys know um, I was a makeup artist, so makeup artist, esthetician. I had it in my studio pretty much <laughs> for like drinks, like beverages and stuff, snacks. If people brought their kids with them to get their makeup done and get facials and whatnot. But the refrigerator is done, is done so. It needs to, yeah, I need to get rid of it. <laughs> you guys get the gist. I just need to clean my candle studio because it's... <sighs> I can't function <laughs> I can't function it's not I can't work down here in this environment so I really do need to clean it up so let's get to it
super excited for the holidays i got these new christmas um tree vessels so these are going to be limited edition so of course <laughs> if you are signed up to my email list you would definitely be the first to know so i am so so excited i tested this out and when i tell y'all the burn time and just the overall like you know obviously ambiance of the tree candle in my living room i just i love it so i'm excited about these and i'm excited for you guys to you know get one if you do decide to purchase y'all so i bought so much stuff from sephora <laughs> it's ridiculous but some of these items are birthday gifts from family and then i went a little ham yeah i did i went a little ham in sephora and i'm lying but i definitely want to share with you guys what i got because i think the savings event is still going on by the time you guys see this um i think by the time you guys see this it ends on monday and my birthday is on tuesday the 16th so i'm gonna try to have this video out just in case you want to get if you want to get some of the stuff that i got so let me share with you guys all right y'all so most of these items i got for my birthday so my birthday is on tuesday my husband my cousin you know got me some stuff from sephora that i sent to them it was on my you know list of items and stuff that i wanted but yeah i wanted to share some of my recommendations with you guys in case if you still want to shop the sephora sale because it's still going on i am still waiting on stuff that I order from sephora.com because when i went in the store they didn't have you know the stuff they didn't have that in store so i went online and i purchased it and i thought it was gonna be here like today or tomorrow but it's showing that it's going to be here on monday and the sephora sale ends on monday so yeah but i'll definitely let you guys know what it is that i got so but first i think we're going to start with let's let's start with makeup products this is a cream stick bronzer this is from the brand um lys so yeah this is what it looks like 
this is it it's like very perfectly like you know where you can get into those areas where you want to contour it's definitely creamy i have swatched it i swatched it in store and honey when i tell you i cannot wait to play in this baby next makeup item i got is from charlotte tillsbury so this is the airbrush bronzer this is a powder and i have been eyeing this for a minute as well and if you guys don't know charlotte tillsbury honey she never disappoints the packaging be on point and oh my gosh this is beautiful i love it i absolutely love it and this is a big mirror too like oh my gosh i'm obsessed yes oh my gosh i can see I have a breakout in my chin and I can see it through this mirror. <laughs> this is wonderful. I cannot wait to play with it because sometimes with some bronzers, you know, like powder bronzers, they're not very flattering on, you know, deeper skin tones. Then the next makeup item that I got is a palette. This is by Natasha Denona. I absolutely love Natasha Denona palettes. Back in my makeup artistry days, honey, I always kept a Natasha Denona palette in my kit, okay? And when I tell you, her palettes are just like unmatched. They kind of remind me, like her and Anastasia Beverly Hills be like neck and neck for me because the pigmentation on like the eyeshadows, they always creamy, okay? They're always pigment, okay? A little goes a long way. But yeah, this is the palette. I love these colors, y'all. Absolutely beautiful, okay? Definitely my type of palette. Definitely something you can use like every day. This is a nice everyday palette and yeah. I can't wait to play. <laughs> so the next makeup item was not really like, well I guess you could say it's makeup. This is new. This is by Supergoop. This is their protectant tint, daily SPF tint, and it's SPF 50. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Days like when I'm like out walking outside, and it's like literally like a no makeup makeup day. Like if you want to wear this skin tint, like I tried it and I swatched it in the store, and this is like what it looks like on me. But when you rub it in. You don't see it so I am really really excited just to wear this like either just out walking when I'm on my walks you can either go to the gym with this on you know it sold me when it said SPF 50 and anything like 50 and above is like the best thing for your skin okay to protect that you know your skin barrier so uh yes so i had to pick this up the next thing i got is a concealer from the brand say now this is my first time purchasing anything from say um so i'm excited so like this is a concealer oh yeah that's the swatch um this is kind of like a light all over concealer you know it's not really something like to highlight with this is something like to kind of cover up some blemishes or whatever um because i had just bought a new highlighter from juvia's place that i showed you guys like a while back like probably like two videos ago so i didn't really need another like concealer for highlighting but i did want another concealer for like concealing like blemishes and whatnot you know i picked up some if you don't know I'm about to put you on sephora has like the best like um like cotton swaps like these cotton pads oh my gosh these cotton pads are like high quality <laughs> and they only 4.99 like if you don't know now you know so every sephora is like it's checkout is like so different um I have three Sephora's like around me. So I went to the one by the mall and they had like a ton of these like travel size um, Sol de Janeiro 
kits and because I am going to I'm going to um went on a vacation this summer I was like okay I don't want to I don't really feel like packing like a lot of like you know like lotion like body sprays or you know um wash like body wash and this comes with this comes with a mini like I already have the big one of this one and it smells absolutely divine okay this is the brazilian jasmine and pink dragon fruit ugh y'all i got this body spray get it it smells so good and of course this is the body wash just like the little small body wash and the little lotion so i thought this was really perfect for you know my little vacation i'm going on soon so this will be going on the airplane with me <laughs> and it already comes in a nice clear little baggie that way tsa can see so i have been on a fragrance kick i don't know what the heck is going on my cousin and jeremy bought me uh, fragrances jeremy bought me two fragrances and um my cousin bought me one but i bought this one for myself this is the valentino um born in roma but this is the coral fantasy <sighs> yeah i am so obsessed with this one. this is in the floral family but this is a fruity floral the notes are orange jasmine and rose now i'm not a fan of rose but this doesn't smell the rose in here is not it's not strong at all it is a light rose a bearable rose <laughs> so yeah i am absolutely in love with this fragrance so the next fragrance that i have is by burberry so this is burberry goddess y'all honey this one my cousin bought me she was like i know you want a perfume what you want <laughs> and i told her i wanted this it's been it was been in my sephora cart for all the hollow <laughs> and when i tell y'all first of all the bottle is beautiful okay but the fragrance though the scent when i tell you i can spray this on me right now and She smelled like you got money, okay? Money. Very sophisticated, grown woman on her ish, okay? She don't play no games. She know what she want. She's not indecisive. Yes, Burberry goddess, okay? <laughs> it's very warm and spicy, and I think that's why I love, like, love most about it because even though this is probably geared towards wearing in the fall and winter months but i really do feel like you can get away with wearing her all year round because it's just it smells it smells that good oh my gosh the notes in this is very vanilla base so it's vanilla caviar vanilla infusion and vanilla absolute and it's a warm and sweet gourmand y'all i just i don't know i'm just obsessed add to cart now <laughs> the next fragrance is um by k ali now this was it's going back because jeremy actually bought this one <laughs> and he bought the wrong one the one i wanted was oud gasm um vanilla and oud but this one is uh rose and oud and i'm not a fan of rose this smells like i don't know I don't like it. It smells like a very elevated old lady scent. It's not like a rose that's normally like, oh my gosh, like it's so overpowering. This definitely is elevated for sure, but it still to me smells like old lady vibes. That's, that's what I'm getting from this. So he's actually uh sending this one back and he's giving me the the uh vanilla the vanilla and oud because that's the one i wanted he said oh my gosh i thought i picked up that one but no he picked up the wrong one about that he really thought he was doing something i give him a a for effort <laughs> but he also bought me this one 
but in this one he did get right because I told him I wanted the Madagascar so this is by Nest so this is the Madagascar vanilla perfume oil yo it smells so freaking good I love I just like vanilla scents like and I feel like all my vanilla scents don't exactly smell the same you know they all don't smell the same honestly and the fact that this is a oil is like you can literally put it anywhere you can put it in your um ugh, it's oh my gosh that layers so nicely oh oh my gosh that layers oh my gosh this one layers so nicely with the burberry goddess oh my gosh that's about to be my new signature scent honey what i love about perfume oils like i was saying is you can put perfume oils in with your you know body butters and stuff and just gives you like a nice you know just like a it makes the fragrance last that much longer it's like way like the last in power is like 10 times better when you match it with an immaculate body butter okay it leads me to the four items that i purchased on um sephora.com so i ordered the 54th rooms the vanilla and honey i think it was the vanilla and honey body butter oh my gosh can't wait to get my hands on that okay and probably pair it with the madagascar the nest madagascar and vanilla perfume it's probably gonna smell so freaking divine and I might just smell so yummy. So, so yummy. I also picked up the Milk Makeup um, Cloud Glow Priming Foam. So it's new and when I tell you I'm so excited to try it because it looks like something fun you can play with. It's in a foaming tube and it's a primer. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never had a primer like that. So I'm very intrigued and I'm excited to try it. Next thing that I got, on sephora.com was the one size by patrick star so it's the ultimate blurring setting powder and i got the pink one and i'm just probably just going to use that one for highlighting under my eyes i don't think i'll use it as a all over face setting powder i pretty much just got it because i want to use it under my eyes and the last thing that i got from sephora is the dior forever skin glow foundation it does have spf 15 in it but i do feel like this foundation is about to be my holy grail but the fact that you can actually mix this in with another foundation is supposed to give you like a nice radiant glow i am so excited about that because I don't know. I feel like summertime is the time to have that nice radiant glow. It seems like, wait, but I don't know. That's why I said I like to get things and try them out for myself. So I'm really, 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 really excited to get that. So that's pretty much it for my little, you know, Sephora haul that I got from the Sephora savings event. And like I said, it's still going on. So I would definitely have everything linked down below in my description box if you, you know, guys want to get it yourself if it if anything tickles your fancy this is pretty much the end of today's video so i really do hope that you guys enjoyed it thank you so so much for spending some of your time with your good sis i appreciate you guys always for being here and if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button because i would love to have you blessings to you all and i will talk to you guys in my next video every good girl needs a little every good girl needs a little